Hey there, first day delivery, let's turn this down, and uh, welcome, and we are sparking today, Saturday, January 27th, I think, let's go with that, yeah, um, right off the top, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, hit the bell, uh, if you like this kind of content. I'm hoping to get some uh, videos of shopping and drop-offs and all that kind of stuff. So, because I really need to uh, incorporate that into miles. my videos, I think. Um, sorry about the bumps. I'm already on uh, South DuPont, which is DuPont is the main drag uh, with all the stores and car dealerships. Everything in Delaware is on this road. So, um, that's not true. There's other clues. Uh, this is the main deal. So, we already got this order. $25 shopping. Take it all day long. I'll do one of these an hour. And, uh, have a good day. Um, so yeah, we're doing that. Uh, we're on the way to the customer already because I got my breakfast, got my coffee, which I haven't even had yet. And, uh... And then that came in. So I was planning on easing into the day with a little coffee, maybe catch up on some news on my phone. Uh, but no, this order came in right away. So we're taking it. We're going. Uh, yesterday was a good day. I didn't film because uh, or record film. The 50s now. Um, I didn't record uh, any video because I wanted to just focus on making the best of the day and not being distracted by, oh, I got to try to get this shot and that, you know, so on and so forth. So uh, today is the day to do that. Yesterday, I uh, had two incentives. Uh, one was a uh, take four shopping orders out of Camden for an extra $20, so $5 an order. And then they had a, you know, run x amount of orders for x x amount of dollars so i got the four shopping orders done i got uh the i think it was 10 deliveries 10 runs um from the day before and then yesterday so i was able to stack promotions so i wanted to just get it done um today there's a new promotion out today tomorrow and monday uh, complete 21 orders for $104. That's the big one. Um, I don't know that I'll get there. And, and I really feel like with these big monster promotions with a lot, with a lot of runs, they really, Walmart uses those, that data that they get from that to decide whether they want to release more drivers. So. I might go for the first level, which is like 16, 15 runs for $64 or something. Uh, we're going to try to hit that at least. Um, if I get to the 21, then I get to the 21. Um, it's kind of the way that I see it with these incentives. Um, you know, try to hit the first one. If you can stretch to the second one, so be it. If not, not a big deal. Of course, if I get to 20, I'm going to try to get to 21. Like, I'll stay later, but whatever I need to do. Um, because they are releasing more drivers. There's more drivers in my area, but I'm still able to keep busy. And I think that's because all, all my metrics are in the green. So, um, I look at doing this kind of stuff. Gig work, delivering, same way that I do my eBay store. My eBay store has free shipping. I run a sale every day so that a sale is always ending every 24 hours. Um, you know, whatever I can do, of course, price it right. Whatever I can do to get an advantage over my competition. So you've got to think of the other drivers as your competitors. You're competing for orders, right? So every advantage you get, if you're on Door DoorDash, you get the pizza right bag, get Top Dash or Priority, well, what, whatever it is that you're area uh, get on the catering program activate your red card if you haven't done that like do as much as you can to take as many offers as you can 
offers. Without a catering bag, you're not getting catering offers or even large offers that they re that they want you to have a catering bag for. Um, you know, if you uh, Turn right onto if you don't have a red card, Boulevard. you're not going to get shop and deliver orders. So make yourself as available as you possibly can to take as many orders as you can. Now, they're not going to be good orders one mile. all the time. You know, they're going to be crappy a lot of times. But it's the frequency of which you receive orders. So, and then to maintain top whatever, priority, platinum, what, whatever it is, you, you have to decline 30% to lose that. 30% of your last 100. If you're not able to accept 30% of your last 100 then you need to really look out. Is it worth it to have that app in that market? Um, in this market, Dover, my wife, who's doing all of that, I'm trying to make my way up to that because I was multi-apping and I'm like, well, I could take this and not take that. And so now I'm just down to basically uh, DoorDash and Spark. So I can manage both of those still multi-app a little bit and um i should be able to get to pri uh platinum status so um but she's right around that 72 to 78 percent usually and she takes some really borderline orders that youtubers and folks on reddit would yell at her for taking like why why are you taking that four dollar half a mile run it's only four dollars it's only half a mile too. Like there, there's two sides to it, right? So if you want to maintain that status and get pri priority uh, high paying orders, dash anytime, uh, you know, dash on along the way or whatever the hell they call it, uh, and the catering program and everything else that comes along with it, then you've got to take those $4 offers as long as it's the mileage makes sense, you know? Um, but yeah, so that's enough about that. We are sparking. We're trying to get to 15 at least. Not today. Pro probably. I don't, I don't see, unless you're working 16 hour days, that anybody could take 15, uh, runs in a day. So we're not going to work 16 hours. We're going to work maybe eight, hopefully take, uh, eight or nine. If I can get halfway there. Today, halfway there. Tomorrow, in a quarter mile. Monday, I've got to drop this Fox thing Road. off to get it uh, checked out for the battery issue. So I might be in the Mazda. I'll probably run some Spark in the morning, and then wife will probably want a DoorDash in the afternoon. So we'll 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 try Take to make the it. Next left onto Fox Road. Uh, then your I'm almost at this delivery, so we're gonna drop this sucker off. And uh, we're going to uh, get back and get the next one. Because that's what today is all about. Getting the next one. Uh, I'm going to take some really bad offers. I'm just warning you. Because what else are you going to do? I mean, if you want to take deliveries, you got to take take uh, take the good with the bad. Uh, you know, I, I probably won't take any $7.14 mile runs. But, uh, you know. Looking for the Your house. destination is on the left. It is on the left? Is it really? It's probably one of these. All right. Let me figure this out and uh, we will get this drop. All right. So we got our uh, second shopping order of the day. It's 949. Done shopping. There it is. In case you want to, you know. See the details. Uh, pretty vanilla. Uh, seven items. Not nothing too crazy. Um, only thing is the soap flavor that they wanted was out of stock, so I had to substitute that out. Then I had to wait for them to uh, respond, which they never did. So they're getting what 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 they get. They're getting the gold. Uh, I hate customers that don't respond. Like you're ordering online, you're paying for someone to go shop your order and be quick about it. The least you could do is if it, if it's out of stock, I'm trying to get it to you as fast as I can. 
right? For, for the benefit of the customer, because that's the service that they paid for, and the benefit of me, because I want to get back to the store. You know, I want to get get the next one. So they never responded. So I just uh, I got them antibacterial soap instead of just regular old smelly shit. So uh, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, I'll still get back before uh, the next round robin, or uh, hopefully I'll get another shopping order, although I am out of bags. So I will have to bug an ODP person to run and get me some bags, which I don't mind doing that if I'm there picking up an order curbside, but to like go and like they're focused on get back, get the next order to get out. And I'm like, excuse me, can I have some bags, please? Like, that's just, I don't know. It, I feel like I'm interrupting their day, but it's something that I need, so I shouldn't feel bad about it, but I do. Anyway, we're going to run this, drop it off, get back to get the next one. Um, two out of 15 now, so I got to get to 15. Not going to happen today. I understand that, but... uh I got to get to seven or eight, I would think. So let's try to make that happen. Go team. <laughs> All right. Order is complete. 10.01. Plenty of time for me to get back for the next round. Robin will actually be about probably 20 minutes early, 15 minutes early. Um, which is fine. I'll sit, I'll sit for a few minutes if I'm going to get a $20 order. Um, yeah, so nothing too complicated. Uh, I had to make two trips because there was three gallons of milk there. And, uh, yeah, so on to the next one as we drive slowly through this neighborhood, which is extremely like cookie cutter like hey i'm a builder i'm gonna build the same house over and over and over we're just gonna move uh move some windows maybe add a porch or not add a porch maybe we'll cover it maybe we won't yeah very yeah don't like these types of na na neighborhoods my house is uh my house was put on our property. That's how. That's as far back as I can trace it. Trace it. It was put on the property in 1850 um, when we remodeled. Uh, contractor uh, and I figured out that it's uh, my house is actually two smaller houses put together, uh, two servants' quarters. So there was a uh, small servants' quarters, probably for your, you know land workers um there weren't slaves in this area slavery was outlawed um around the time of the Rev revolutionary war so um and it was outlawed by the quakers not by the government like the and this is a big quake that's why there's horses and buggies everywhere and things like that so quakers uh said that you know slavery is against our religion which good on them so uh if you if you own slaves then you weren't going to be welcome in uh in church and whatever functions they they had so um no slaves but yeah so land workers and probably maids and things like that there's a bigger house on our street that was built in 1774 and that's the property that these two houses came from there was a servant's quarter small servant's quarter and then a larger servant's quarter so that's probably for like your upper butlers things things like that uh head maids um so yeah the both of those houses were smashed together um i took out the wall between the two houses because i had a front door and then you'd walk into the house and there was like a wall with another front door that went into the rest of the house. Like, it, it's just set up very, very weird. So we knocked that wall down, made it one open area, and that's how we found out that, hey, there's two exterior walls here, so. 
and knocking down that wall was uh, we had to get an engineer in and everything because nobody's knocked down an interior wall that's actually two exterior walls and the exterior walls are what hold your house up so um you know, it's not like anybody's taking down an exterior wall to expose the outdoors. Like, you know, so, yeah, we had to uh, figure that out, which was fun. Good times. Very expensive, which is, you know, why I'm doing this. So, and I actually like driving. I can drive all day. Like, yesterday I drove from, I started at 8 in the morning. We didn't get home till 8, 8 o'clock at night. And I didn't go home. Like, I stayed out. And uh, my shift, my delivery was done by 5. My wife, was she scheduled herself till 7. Even though she's, you know, platinum dasher, she still schedules herself. Because she feels like she gets better orders that way. So, um, which I, I think is all just in your head stuff, but. There's other YouTubers out there that have said the same thing, but I think it's just, you know, coincidental or, you know, I don't know. Maybe there is something to it, but I don't think so. Um, yeah. Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, I can be behind the wheel all day. So after five, I met up with her at an Aldi. I parked my car. Hopped in hers and drove her around for another three hours. And, you know, it's just, I like driving. You know, when we take road trips, I'm the one that drives. And I'm behind the wheel the whole time. And I've driven from here, Delaware, to Alabama. From Alabama to Delaware. You know, Alabama to Iowa. That one I needed to, to stop. But Alabama to Delaware is a 16-hour drive. Uh, did it without stopping multiple times just because this is my comfort. This is my happy place behind the wheel. So, yeah, maybe I should be a truck driver. The open road. Be your own boss. The wind in your hair. The open road. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we're getting the next one. Woo! That's my, that's my excitedness. Next one. All right, so, we got this order. The reason why I do this is so that when I'm skimming through the videos, I can see this and just stop and throw in the screenshot. Anyway. Uh, just a little behind the scenes here at First Day Delivery. Um, got another shopping order. Third one of the day. It's a good one. It's a good one. I'm happy with how today's going. Turn right. Yes. Um, not going far for the money. Um, shopping wasn't too bad. Everything's in stock here, which is nice. Like I've had to substitute a couple things, but nothing too bad whatever i substituted the suggested substitute has been in stock so perfect um and right yeah Thomas Harmon Drive. thank you uh so we uh are on the way to the next stop while i was uh waiting for bags because i needed to get bags um there were two other spark drivers sitting there waiting for their curbside orders and they were talking about Three how much it mile. sucks Turn today. Left onto Jack's way. Perfect. Uh, so saying like, you know, oh, this is the first $20 order I've gotten today. And, you know, I've taken four and whatever. And it's like, yeah, I've taken three. Two above 20, one at 15. I've been gone and back like a lot. Like he probably started before me. But... He said that he avoids shopping orders because he doesn't like walking. It's like, what the, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, <laughs> go find a desk job. Go, go be a, go be a security guard in, in a mall somewhere or something. Or you know, we've got casinos. Go stand behind a security monitor and just watch the screen all day. 
Like, go do something that is not this. Like, this is, it's Take not the next hard left labor. Dr. Jack's way, then turn right onto Upper King Road. Yeah, it's not hard labor, but it's, you know, you gotta move. Like, you can't just sit in the car and drive, like I do with my wife at night, but it, you know, you gotta get up. You gotta walk. You can't just sit there and, and cherry pick curbside orders. Take that, the next right onto Upper King Road. You'll never make money. Not enough. I mean, you, you you gotta you gotta like I said before, you gotta be as open as possible to taking as many to In seeing as mile, many offers as as, as you can. And when you limit yourself to just one type of order with Walmart, you know, it's like being a DoorDash driver and only doing shopping orders or only picking up from Chick-fil-A or whatever. You're not going to make money. You can't limit yourself. Make yourself as available as possible and keep moving. Like, if you don't... I couldn't believe he said that. I, I laughed out loud when he said that and he heard me and Turn I... Turn left onto South Street. I just ignored him. I didn't say anything, but, you know, I was just like... <laughs> Like, he was, like, half of my size, too. Like, I'm a big guy. I'm 340 pounds. Like, big dude. Continue on South Street for half a mile. And I walk around the store. I carry cases of water. You know, I, I don't avoid a whole lot. Now, if it's third floor, two cases of water or more, I'm not doing it. But I'm not going to avoid a case of water to a house or two or three. I've done I've done three. Um, yeah, make yourself as available as, 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 as you can be. Keep your numbers up. This isn't hard. And I'm not the most stellar guy out there doing this stuff. 1,000 feet, turn right toward Willow Grove Road. Yeah, I got it. Um, there are people that are doing, that are making a lot more money. But I feel like for my market and the circumstances in my market with the oversaturation and stuff, I think we do pretty well. Um, Take the second right toward Willow Grove Road, then turn right onto Willow Grove Road. Gotcha. Um, the GPS is just going to keep going off, so I'm going to cut this. Yeah. Uh, don't be afraid turn to right walk. Turn right Willow Grove Road. Don't be afraid to take shopping orders and walk and in bend down. Mile, turn left onto West Camden, Wyoming Avenue. And, you know, work like if you don't want to work go be a telemarketer or you know call center something something that's seated that you can make your you know $16 an hour otherwise if you want to make money you got to move here doing this stuff at the light turn left onto West Camden Wyoming Avenue I then just... continue straight to stay on West Camden Wyoming Avenue thank you uh, so yeah I couldn't believe that. I just, I don't like to walk. Wow. Wow. All right. Dropping this off, running back for the next one. All right. Got that. Not exciting. The only exciting thing is, is it's easy. It's one trip for each drop. But I got to drive a bit. Yeah. Okay. Trying to hit that incentive, at least the first level. So, uh, gotta take it. Gotta take it. I actually heard a guy who was parked on the other side of the aisle from me. Walking around, car to car, to all his friends saying, oh, these orders are shit. Uh, and he said what I think is the one that I took. $15 for nine miles. I'm not driving that. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm loading up and he's still sitting there waiting, waiting for it. So when there's an incentive and he might not even know that there's an incentive. Um, just got to keep moving. Even if there's not an incentive, when there's 12 drivers standing around, can't be picky. Can't be picky. Got to keep moving. Got, that's where you're making your money. You're not making your money to 
walk around the lot smoking cigarettes complaining about how the orders are shit. So the orders are shit. Do something with it. Do you want to make $15 this hour or do you want to wait? You'd rather wait. I'd rather make make the money and not wait, not sit not sit there and be pissed at the world because nobody's tipping or whatever whatever his deal is but anyway I'm letting him bother me it's the same guy that doesn't want to walk either so he's just sitting there cherry picking which is fine cherry pick all all you want I'm I'm going to keep moving and at the end of the day I'm paying my bills and you're standing around Walmart not much fun is it to stand there and complain alright let's see where am I supposed to be uh yeah, this one. Nice house. Real nice house. I'm in a different car. So yeah, the battery, my battery just about died. Um, the Tahoe's having battery issues, as, as you know, and um, doesn't really charge my phone. It maintains it, but it doesn't charge it. So uh, I'm in the Mazda now, phone's charged, and uh, I can say goodbye. So goodbye. <laughs>